Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about how to fail your academic year. Tip number one, play monkey games and win monkey prizes. What I mean by that is listen to your school teachers, do all the homework that they give you and you're guaranteed to fail. Majority of the teachers, when they give you their homework, they want to give you extra homework just because they want to feel like they're giving you some work. Often it's not related to the exams that you're going to do. Fantastic. The more you do of that, the further away you're going to get from your target grades. These teachers that you've got are so amazing. They'll ensure that almost 50% of students get below a grade 5 at GCSE or nearly 80% get a grade B or below at A level. Make sure you follow just what your school teacher says and you'll be doing really well to get really poor grades. Now, if you go to an arcade and you play one of those claw grabbing toy games, ultimately you only win a really tiny toy. If you listen to what your school teacher says, you only end up winning a monkey prize, which is a pat on the back, maybe a smiley face or maybe a stamp in your book. If I was giving you tips on how to actually pass, I would say that optimize for what you really want to do, which is getting those top grades, not the little piece of homework that you have to get in by Thursday those don't really affect your final grades. So your focus should actually be on the specification, on the exam papers, and on anything that actually helps you get the top grades at the end of the year. We're not looking at short-term goals. We are looking at long-term goals and optimizing towards that. I personally really despised doing homework and focusing on the mock exams that you get given throughout the year. I scored lots of views, lots of Ds in my mocks, in my homeworks, Ultimately, I still ended up at Oxford because I focused on what really mattered, which was the end exams. Keep that in mind if you actually want to pass. But of course, I'm not trying to tell you how to pass. This video is all about how to fail. With that in mind, let's get on to point number two. If you're really trying to fail, what you want to do is aim for an A star. You what? How does that work? How do you fail by aiming for an A star? The way you fail is that you aim for this grand goal but you forget what to do on a daily basis. You're focusing on the highlight reel with your other students maybe older than you. Whoa, this guy came out with four A stars. You really want to sit down every day. You want to motivate yourself and think about this esoteric goal of getting A's and A stars. Think about it like this. If you're an archer. You think you can hold them off? Captain. And you want to hit the bullseye. You only want to imagine how you're going to hit the bullseye. So you aim for this great goal right smack bang in the middle of your target and close your eyes and you're going to hit it. Of course, that's how you're going to fail. The right way to approach it is think about your target and you're bound to fail. If I was going to tell you how to do well over the next year, here's what I would say. I would say focus on the daily habits. Put first things first and think about what happens from a day-to-day -day perspective for you to get that A star. So forget the A star goal, but think about the tasks that you need to do broken down on a daily basis. If I was to look at your calendar, could I tell that you're an A star student or you're a student who wants to do medicine? If I can't, then you're probably not going to do well in your upcoming year. So we've done two points on how to fail your year, which brings us on to our final point, which is not to fail at all. If you really want to do badly in the upcoming year, then you should be absolutely terrified of failing. In fact, make sure you never ever fail. Make sure you don't fail any of your exams and better yet, don't even sit some of these exams. So you don't fail at all. It can't hurt your feelings if you don't do it. Now, again, this video is not me giving you tips on how to do well. But if I was giving you a tip on how to do well in the next year, I would say fail fast. What that means is once you've got your daily routine sorted, Try an experiment with little experiments. What that means is do little papers. Do papers and see how you get on. If you make mistakes, that's absolutely fine because you learn from it and you improve. So what I would say is even if you're scared of doing a paper, you should go out and do it. If you are learning how to drive a car till you actually get the key, put it in the ignition and actually start driving, you ain't going to learn. So it's okay to look a bit nervous on the street and wobble a bit when you're driving your car. As long as you're learning, on the street, not in a book, in your bedroom, reading about how cars work. You have to be out there practicing, failing, and then learning. It's all about failing fast and learning from there. The difference between an A-star student and a D student is the A-star student fails in the practice room multiple times, and the D student only fails once, and he fails 
on the stage. A lot of students have it twisted and they think that you have to fail as little as possible. No, I want you to fail as many times as possible. I want you to fail now, I want you to fail tomorrow, I want you to fail the day after. Of course, in this video, I'm not trying to tell you how to do well. I was trying to tell you how to fail. Let's run through those things again. This is how you fail. Number one, make sure you play monkey games and you'll definitely win monkey prizes. Number two, aim for an A star and you're bound to get a grade U. And number three, make sure you fail as little as possible because that will guarantee that you actually fail your final exam. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys can apply my recommendations on how to fail your next year. If you want more tips on how to fail, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Happy failing.